fretless bass. Hello friends and neighbors, welcome back to the Brownstone once again. My name is Rich Brown. Thank you for joining me today. And in this lesson, I want to talk about something that I don't really see very often here on the YouTubes, and that's the, the topic of fretless bass. Maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe there are a ton of videos. You know what? There probably are. There's probably a ton of videos out there on playing fretless bass that I just haven't looked up. I'm not doing my homework, people. Do your homework. <laughs> Today I want to talk about fretless bass and I want to talk about a specific exercise to help you with your intonation. Intonation is the key to playing fretless bass. You could play all of the licks and patterns and speed and all of the flashy stuff, but if you're not playing the bass in tune, you're not playing the bass. It's just how it is. You're not making music. So today I wanted to um, give you a little exercise that will help you with that. Now, I got this exercise from uh, a really amazing guitar player uh, out of Turkey. His name is Cenk Erdogan. And um, man, every time I listen to this guy play, it just blows my mind. He's so fantastic. I'll probably leave a link uh, to his socials. He's got a YouTube channel. He's on Instagram. Um, check him out. I'll leave the link below. But um, he's a guitar player who plays fretless uh, acoustic and electric guitar. He's so phenomenal. And at one point he started posting lessons on his page. Now, you know, because I haven't seen a lot of fretless bass lessons on YouTube, you know, I went to guitar players. I went to the next be best thing. And um, Drink had this really amazing exercise that I thought I would translate to the bass and give to you today in this lesson. So you can thank me, but you should probably thank Cenk Erdogan for this awesome exercise. It goes like this, and it's very simple. All you have to do, <laughs> all you have to do is play the bass in tune. End of lesson. All you have to do to help you to play the bass in tune is um, start with this. Start with playing the notes of the C major scale from the lowest note on the instrument. Now, for many, of you, for many of you, this is going to be the open E, as it is for me, for once. So what I'm going to do is play the notes of the C major scale three notes at a time. And what I do is I play the first three notes, and then I play the first three notes again up an octave. And I want to make sure that I'm playing each of these notes in tune with no vibrato, don't let me catch you playing any vibrato on this exercise. Don't let me catch you playing any vibrato. We play the first three notes, and then we play the first three notes again up the octave. Um, no vibrato, very slowly, so that you hear every note. And if you have to adjust your tuning to make sure the position is just right, then go ahead and do that. But if you do, if you find that you have to adjust your tuning, you should probably play that particular sequence of notes over again. For me, if you're, if you're just starting with this exercise, I would say to um, play each three note pattern at least two times. So here's the exercise. I play E, F, G, and then up the octave, E, F, G. And I'll do it again. play the open string to make sure I'm in tune. Then I move to the next three notes, F, G, and A. F, G, A. Then G, A, B.
then ABC. So on and so forth. You want to keep going until you get all the way up to um, basically the beginning of the exercise again where you play EFG but you play uh, E, F, G, and then E, F, G. And then you can start over again. It's such a cool exercise. And one thing you can do if you really want to make sure your tuning is on point you're playing the notes of the C major scale. So if you can have some sort of C drone in the background as, you do, as you're doing this, and really listen to the way each of your notes complements that drone or sounds against that drone. If you're hearing those waves, that beating, then there's some adjustments that you'll have to make. Remember, every time you do make an adjustment, you have to play that sequence again. Play it until it sounds right and then move on to the next one. And that's the exercise. I just wanted to give you that short little lesson on how to improve your intonation on fretless bass. Um, and it's a great way to do that. Another thing that you can do, which is actually something that Jenk sent to me a long time ago, um, where he sent me a, reco a recording of um, just piano long tones, C major scale in two octaves. And then I do the same thing. I play along with that piano recording, very straight, long tones with absolutely no vibrato, and make sure that the notes are in tune with the notes that I'm hearing on the piano. So hey, there you go. Two exercises to help you with your fretless bass playing. That's it. Nice little short lesson. So I'll leave it there. Friends and neighbors, uh, do me a favor. If you like this video, please do click like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can donate to the channel in one of two ways. I will leave the uh, uh, link for donations in the description box. And you can also join the channel for a mere $5 Canadian a month and cancel at any time. All of the above helps me out in a huge way. And it helps me to bring these videos to you, which I love doing. And uh, I want to do as much as possible. So uh, let's keep this happening. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. My name is Rich Brown.